someone will receive exactly how much they need to complete this project, to complete this debt. But someone will receive an amount of money from an unexpected source and it is exactly how much you need. There's a miracle knocking. Hallelujah, glory to God. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. Someone will receive an exact amount of money that they need to complete something. Could be to complete your rent. It could be to complete your debt. It could be to complete your project. But it's going to come like a miracle from where you least expect it. And this is a prophetic word coming to us from the book of Luke, <clears throat> chapter 15, from verse 8 to verse 10. It says, imagine a woman who has 10 coins and loses one. Won't she light a lamp and scold and, and clean the house, looking in every nook and cranny until she finds it? And when she finds it, you can be sure she'll call her friends and neighbors celebrate with me i found the lost coin count on it hallelujah and this word is coming today because it's not just about the scripture it's a prophetic day it's a prophetic word today is the 18th and when i received this word i just got it in me like check and 18 is a combination of 10 and 8. Remember, we are in the eighth month, which is still talking of new beginning. And 10 talks about completion. 10 talks about being made whole. 10 talks about shalom. And God says he's giving someone an unexpected miracle that will make you complete. An unexpected miracle that will make you whole an unexpected miracle that is coming someone you will receive a financial miracle your faith can stretch beyond a financial miracle but someone will receive a financial miracle that is going to complete you complete your bills complete your debts complete but this this financial miracle is aimed divinely aimed to help you complete because 10 talks about completion. And then 8 talks about a new life. A new beginning. So God says. He wants to divinely intervene in your life. Complete what has been holding you in one place. So you can be able to step up to a new beginning. God wants to step into your life. Complete what has been holding you. You just need to complete that mortgage. You need just this amount of money to complete that project that you started. You need this amount of money for that business to kickstart. That is the person that this world is for. God wants you. And, and, and this thing also talks about shalom, which is talking about peace. is still the peace, the wholeness. When you receive, this is the thing that is disturbing you. You need this amount of money right now. You need this to be complete. You need this to even think or, or think of the next level or think of what to do next. You can't even think of what to do next as long as you are still stuck, stuck with this, with this situation, with this debt, with this complication in your hand. God says you are receiving your miracle that you need. To make you complete now in the name of Jesus. You are receiving the financial miracle that you need. An unexpected financial miracle that you need. To provide exactly how much you need for to, to, to complete that thing. To have your peace again. To be happy again. Some God, someone God is giving you a miracle that will make you rejoice and will make you so happy. You will call the people to come together and you are going to tell them, see what God has done. The Bible says this woman 
this woman was able to call her friends and neighbors to come celebrate with her. You've not had reason to celebrate in a while. God is giving you an unexpected miracle that will give you reason to celebrate. I don't know who I'm talking to, but someone, God is giving you an unexpected miracle that will give you reason to celebrate, that will give you reason to jubilate that will give you reason and i hear the holy spirit is telling me this woman had 10 coins and she lost one was missing and god is telling me there is someone the money you are about to receive is money that actually belongs to you but for some reason it's not with you so it's either money that you've worked for but they didn't pay you you are receiving it in in the name of jesus money that someone borrowed but has not paid you back you are receiving it, but I put them under pressure. Whoever has your money, I put them under pressure to give it back to you in the name of Jesus. Whoever has your money and it has been disturbing you and taking your peace, I take away their own peace. Or they will not know peace until they have paid back their money and your peace is restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything you need, everything you need, everything you need, to rest to be whole everything you need for your peace to be restored it is coming back to you in the mighty name of jesus amen 18 talks about a new life someone god is giving you a new life in the name of jesus a new life that is complete a new life that is whole a new life that is better in the mighty name of jesus 18 talks about a fresh start a fresh start Someone, you are going to a place where you have a fresh start. I see some, I see God relocating someone to go to a place where they will have a fresh start. I see God taking someone to a place where you have a fresh start. I see God bringing, taking someone to a new job where they will have a fresh start. I see God taking someone to a place where they will have a fresh start. Oh, Lazabru Shakali and Sobrahanda. And 18 talks about renewed faith. That thing that you had given up for. God is giving you one miracle that will make you know that every other thing that you have been trusting God for will still come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. God is giving you one tangible miracle that will make you know that all that you've been trusting God for will still come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. And 18 talks about love. Because it talks about love. 10 talks about completion. If your love life is not intact, you are not complete. And it and talks about love and, and blessings and prosperity. Whatever you need for your love life to be complete, God is granting it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every blessing that you need, everything that you need to, to testify that indeed God is a God has blessed you. It is coming to you in the name of Jesus. And whatsoever you touch, everything you channel your strength and your effort towards, it will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you felt like this word was for you and you want to connect to it, then you might check the description box or cash up or PayPal. Or you can just hit on that super thanks and the Lord will bless you amazingly. This is a prophetic day. And by the end of this day, you are coming back with a testimony. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.